Hockey scene. We're going to Small Brawlhaven for game number one, Onyx versus Fate in this best of five. Yeah, this is an interesting matchup. Both of these legends kind of underplayed for their respective roles. Uh, if you're looking for a Cannon Legend, usually you'll see the Sidra come out a little bit more often. And then if you're looking for a Scythe Legend, you're more likely to see something like the Mordex. Yeah, the Onyx pick's always very exciting for me to see because I believe that Onyx as a character has signatures that can cover some of the weaknesses uh, that her her weapons have, in particular for Cannon. Uh, Downsig, I'm wondering if Boomy will be using that a lot because we have, we've barely been able to see, I think, at all we haven't seen Boomy at all on stream yeah. so far. So how he's going to be able to use Onyx's signature kit will be very interesting. So far, though, he's fighting unarmed off stage against Pierre. Pierre's been holding the stage, and Boomy being put in a wall slip just barely touches the ground. Yo, Boomy very comfortable Whoa. with that weight. Is going to get the recovery for the first knockout of game number one. Going to juggle for a little bit, but it looks like he's leaning into the cannon for this character. Yeah, opening up with the Falling Nair. Psylite down here goes through with Pierre boldly neutralites him, stopping him from getting that side air reset. And Boomy, with a good amount of extra credit, wasn't able to take the stock all the way. And Pierre trying to equalize, but Boomy just relentless. That side air is not going to do it. And he gets back out of the stage to put Pierre into even deeper amounts of damage. Side air once again still not enough. Onyx just too tanky to take down. And that recovery slides right under the orb down here to really secure the lead for Boomy in game number one. Yeah, she's got that stone armor defense, but a nice side light side air will even up the stock count. You see Pierre going to lean into the orb more. We've been seeing a lot of the scythe come out from Pierre throughout today, but it looks like it's going to be the orb for this matchup against the Onyx. Yeah, it's been primarily orb, and that was a nice side light uh, off that gravity cancel, being able to get the recovery towards the top of the stage. And despite all the extra damage that Boomy did, Pierre is unfazed going to this, although that gauntlet neutral light came so close to taking him down. Boomy gets oh. punished for... Never mind? Uh, tactical... Tactical getting hit by Cider to fool his opponent into <laughs> falling to their death, I think? I... I, I I, I really thought Pierre was going to make it back. Like, that side air was such a good he idea to, like, dodge, yeah, right? dissuade and then chase dodge. But I think he burned his dodge like a lot of people do. Like, oh, they get launched yeah. and then they do the, the dodge to try to stop their momentum. And, I think and that's the hit came too dodge. early. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Now Boomy is really taking nice. advantage of this. As wow. he's been, I think that was seven clean hits yeah. in a row that Boomy just got into Pierre. He finally goes down, but this is about the same amount of extra credit that he had before in Brawlhaven. A little too small of a map for that kind of weapon starving to work for too long. And Boomy, despite Pierre having the weapon advantage, Boomy was the one pressuring Pierre to the left side of the stage, picking up the weapon once it spawned in. Side light from the cannon comes through, and he's one D-Light Nair away from victory, and there it is. Celebratory down sig, not quite used used in the way that I'd like, but at least we, we got to see a signature there, uh, lowering the signature accuracy on the tool that we'll probably see later on in the day. Way to go, Boomy. <laughs> I don't think Boomy's too uh, concerned about that signature <laughs> accuracy stat, I gotta say. But man, I think that that right there at the very end, like you said, where Boomy's respawning, Pierre has weapon advantage, and Boomy still has the threat aura around him is very indicative yeah. of how this is going. And it's one of the reasons why Pierre throughout the day was playing on the fate is now making the swap over to the Taros for game number two. Wow, that's a very quick swap too. I was at least expecting another loss before he was willing to go off that legend that he's been using literally the entire tournament. But Taros will be coming out for game number two onto Demon Island. Um, and we're gonna see how this plays out here now that he's on Axe and Hammer, very different weapon kit, much, much, uh, more neutral focus when it comes to just getting that hit and going away, which is so interesting, right? I, I feel like you couldn't get further away from the playstyle of Fate than going to Terrors. <laughs> yeah, it's a very oppositional, right? You have something like Fate, which is a very string heavy, stay on top of them, keep that momentum. And then on the other side, two weapons that are really good at resetting neutral. Whoa, but right now, close. Pierre oh, is in trouble. Done. No, he's still got the opportunity. He's got a lot of movement, <laughs> and that dare will make sure he gets back onto the stage. I haven't, I haven't seen Onyx charge. That down took a long time, so I had no idea what was Whoa. happening. Recovery comes through, but it was just so funny to see Booby go like, do it, land here. <laughs> um, gets the stock. Pierre struggling a little bit now on this Taros counter pick. Uh, weapon throw comes through, gets a fresh pair of gauntlets. One Silent comes through. Picks up a cannon. Boomy's just cycling every weapon that comes up, keeping him denied. Neutralate. I wouldn't, I'd be, wouldn't be surprised if Boomy just throws the cannon away, picks up the gun, but no, he downs things instead. But the string continues, and that side sig almost sent Pierre to an early grave. 
but a nice neutral light will put Boomy off stage. He's got a lot of horizontal movement with this cannon. And Pierre actually going to go for jumps there. I'm surprised he didn't sit on the corner, maybe look for some opportunities for neutral lights, but instead going to oh. eat the slide charge. Downsig is disarmed, and he is in the red. A nice down light side air will even up the stock count, though, for a brief moment. Yeah, not quite the knockback angle he was hoping for with that down sig. I, I imagine he either wanted to go directly into the stage or better yet, spike him. But uh, Boomy lands one clean down sig, center stage, whips him away with the tail, takes the stock lead. Uh, and Taro seems to be having a little bit more trouble than Fate did in game number one. Boomy playing very strong uh, in game two here against Pierre. Yeah, not even like a threat on Boomy that would warrant changing characters of the thought of it. Instead, Boomy's just been in the driver's seat of the last two games, and it looks like he's going to take game number two unless Pierre brings out something big, maybe some uh, Taro's classic NSIG gimps. Oh, I mean, that would be very tough to... Oh, that was that was funny. I'm loving these uh, fully charged signatures where Pierre just stares at him and hits him. It's, it's a really hard call to make. Uh, in the heat of the moment, because if you miss time, you're yeah. punished. You'll just get hit by a fully charged signature, and oh <laughs> man, that, that was brutal. Double silent recovery. Boomy just dismantles. Uh, Pierre going into game number two, and game three is coming up, and I'm wondering what legend's going to be picked here. Boomy very, very solid on this Onyx, and it's it's dominant in a way similar to how all the Sandstorms matches played out on the winner's side, which just makes me wonder how, how good is has snowy got to be playing to have knocked down boomy 3-1 with the way that we're seeing boomy play here in this lower side of top eight yeah um i mean if, if you watched the pre-show the uh, it looked on the bracket like boomy had dq'd down but it looked like it was just kind of um some back end issues and then he came back and then got one three by snowy and now he's just been making a tear through this lower bracket if all of these matches and it looks like they have been since they've all been 3-0 so far yeah. have been yeah. like this Boomy was just fired up on the lower side of things because he has to play twice as many matches. I feel like this has got to be one of the really, really few, if not the only case, where Boomy lost his first match of a tournament, right? Because <laughs> most Brawlhalla tournaments, you, you, you grind through like the thousands of entrants if you're a pro player before you finally get to like top 32, right? But Boomy like, gets up, gets to his chair, loses a game, loses set one, and goes, what just happened to me? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm imagining he's not not too satisfied with those results. We're seeing uh, the fire behind this play here as he is bringing Pierre to game number three, 2-0 lead, forcing him to a different legend every loss. And now Pierre settled on a Surrey for game number three. Uh, the the Surrey is looking better, just barely, but he's got to oh. avoid this option from Boomy. Still gets to the wall, so he will reset those jumps. There's the weapon spawn so far away, and Pierre going to have to wait for another one. You, you see Pierre not wanting to engage unarmed <laughs> against this cannon. Good dodge. Oh, he uses his dodge. <laughs> oh, and there is no choice. There is no choice. Boomy slide church at the perfect place, and you can't steer the unarmed recovery that well, and it clashed. Boomy taking that stock and continuing more and more damage unarmed. It's so incredible how threatening Boomy's aura oh. is in this particular matchup. Unarmed, armed, whatever the case may be, Paris is just absolutely afraid of approaching Boomy in this set. Yeah, Pierre really, it, it, like, you can kind of see the gears turning Pierre's head of just like, what can I do against this? I tried to play string heavy, didn't work. Tried to play neutral heavy, didn't work. Boomy's just been controlling it. First sign of life, though, coming up here, getting that D-Light recovery after Boomy whiffs a few attacks. And this isn't too large of a lead. But that dash jump Nair forces the dodge up pretty early, but Pierre goes right in. The dodge is gone nice. once again. That's a clean four hits, but Boomy, the second he can, tries to go for the down air, and man, they are Whoa. just going back and forth. A rare drop from Boomy on the D-Light Nair. Instead, got the neutral light input. Whoa. Goes for the neutral sig read, but Pierre able to get outside of it. Pierre is doing better, but this Whoa. Asuri cannot afford to take these hits. Another one from Boomy could be the stock, but the down sig not going to land onto Pierre. I wonder if he meant to slide charge that down sig or just get the very edge. I feel like there's this prime position. I don't know this for sure because I've never tried it or seen it, but I bet if you're Onyx and you charge the down sig at the edge of the map, you might be able to hit people on the wall if they're clinging to it. And I'm wondering if yeah. that's what Boomy's aiming for. Definitely a possibility, but Pierre was high. Ooh. Nice down air from Boomy. 
will take the stock off of Pierre, but this is the closest game they've had so far. Unfortunately for Pierre, this is his tournament stock. Yeah. It's his tournament stock. Boomy's continuing to deny the weapons, and Pierre missing that downlight means he's in for a world of hurt. Three hits come through. Boomy misses the fourth, but the sidelight into Nair comes through. Ground Pound forces Pierre into Orange, denies the weapon again, and there's the delight recovery that he was looking for at the beginning to take the stock. And man, what a difference that is. If his first downlight hit, it'd be a dead even game because he missed it. Boomy was able to apply so much damage, and that is just how great Boomy is at whiff punishing. He's so good at, uh, Getting the most out of a mistake from the opponents. Pierre gonna get on top of him, but he goes off stage, so he has to go for that jump in there. Boomy getting some more damage built up. Pierre close to the red, goes for the recovery on the left side, and one more Sig, and that stock could Ooh. be gone. The weapon toss. His recovery's gone. Where's the dares? Yes, it, ah! Oh! Ouch. That is it. Boomy makes Check it quick it. work of Pierre at the Parsec Invitational. Seventh place to Pierre. Great job through the lower bracket, taking down Wrench, who was doing so well in the Mako and the Asuri. But man, Boomy just let's look at making it look like another day in the office here, coming up to go against Santi in the next lower bracket round. What an amazing performance from Boomy. That is three 3 0s in a row. He's gone nine games since losing to Snowy. Uh, where he has not lost a game, uh, certainly destroying the lower bracket. Yeah, uh, that that like initial loss from Boomy in round one on the winner's side, it was just bad for literally everyone else because Boomy just tore through all the opponents and now he's going to be going up against Santi, but we'll catch up with that in just a